Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty in chapter twenty two. Uh, in this chapter, we talk about Gauss's law. So we have a flat square sheet, and then we can see it looks like this one, right? The charge is uniformly distributed, and then we know the side length for this square L, and also we know the total charge is two seven five, uh, nano. Coulomb. We need to find the electric field density. The first one is one centimeter above the center of the sheet. So first one is at zero. If this R is very small, right, just one centimeter, that means it is super close to this square sheet. So we can consider this is just the region close to an infinity square sheet. An infinity sheet, right? And we did this work in the examples in this chapter. We can just consider the function for this work for this situation, right? The electric field is close to a infinity sheet. Function looks like this one. The phi is the charge density. If so, not is a constant. So in this case, the surface charge density. Is use the total charge divided by its total surface. Then we input the phi inside this function. We get the function look like this one, and input all the given quantity. Answer is there. The next one, if this is a fifteen meters above the center of the sheet, you can see the side length is zero point two five meter. Now you add zero. So it is super far away from this. Sheet right. We can consider this sheet as a point charge. Agree. For point charge, it is Q divided by four pi epsilon naught r squared. So r is given, Q is given. You input it all this quantity. Get the answer zero. This is a, a very famous way to do solve the work. Just、uh, choose the similar model to solve it. You can see when we consider this is just one centimeter above the center of the sheet, we consider this is the infinity charge the sheet problems. When it is really far away, we consider this is a point charge models. Thank you.